<laughs> Welcome back to the Today Kitchen, where Carl's just making himself at home well, here. I just thought you might, everyone might need to, you know, to, to stop what they're doing and the create some for. cheaper meals. <laughs> As part of our Walkers deal. <laughs> um, so tell us what you've got here, Jane and Grant. All right, so everything on the table here feeds the family for mm. less than $15. I should also oh, wow. point out that it's Celiac Awareness Week, so everything here is gluten-free as Ooh. well. So this is a cheesy bacon and egg bake, but what I've done to make the top really crispy is I've put some um, cornflakes on top. What? To make it, yeah, to make it crunchy, so that if you've got someone that what is gluten-free in the house, get some gluten-free cornflakes, pop them on top, and it makes it nice and crunchy. I like right? gluten-free stuff. Yeah, so this is, this is a really great alternative if you don't have any breadcrumbs or crunchy stuff, but you want Thank some you, texture in your food. There's a, there's a cornflake base underneath as well and then crispy cornflakes on top. How'd you make that? That's a make-ahead breakfast. So okay. you whisk up your eggs, you fry off your bacon, you make a layer of cornflakes in the pan, you pour like everything in. Like a lasagna, in. but Kind of cornflakes. like a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a breakfast lasagna with cornflakes. Layers of cornflakes. And you make it ahead, you can reheat it the next day, so all the work's done for you and it's eight bucks to feed the whole all family. Right. That's wow, that's this Luxa thing, talk to us about Okay, that. so yeah, this good. is a Luxa salad. Now, usually you'd get a Luxa soup with yep. the creamy coconut you know, broth that goes Delicious. with it. What I've done here though is I've used vegetables that I already had so carrot bean sprouts any herbs that you're gonna okay. not get to so you try and use things that are already in the fridge Great. you use rice noodles so that it's gluten-free make sure that it's gluten-free for the family and then you put it all together like a salad and make the dressing instead oh. of the soup so help yourself is that almond milk bowl. that is not almond milk but oh. you could do it with almond <laughs> milk it's coconut milk with so get your noodles get your, whoa, get your chicken in there whoa, what whoa, I did whoa. with the chicken was I fried the chicken off in some laksa paste so you don't need the whole jar it cuts down on the oh, cost of what you're using you only use a little bit and then you dress it with all your dressings and spices. That's good. That was $14 to feed the whole family. Okay, here, over here. That's great, 14 okay. bucks. So this is a minestrone. That's incredible, 14 bucks. I know, right, yeah. because yeah. The, the rice noodles are really cheap. Okay. So this is a beautiful minestrone, and what I love about a minestrone is you use up all your leftover veggies. So you can uh, you can go and buy fresh ones if you need to, but if you've got things in the fridge that need using, chop them all up, make a beautiful minestrone, and again, it's about the toppings and the finishes, right? So you can stir some spinach in for me. Do you want to tip that in and stir that in? Stir it through. That'll, <laughs> wilt, it that'll wilt the spinach down so that it's like just, spinach just like wilted. That. But what I do on top of my soups is, have you tried savoury rice bubbles? No. Okay, so again, if you want something crunchy okay. on top, we always think of croutons and things, but I like to make a mix of rice bubbles, parmesan, a whole lot of salt and spices. And when do you want to sprinkle some snap crackle yep. pop on top of your Yum. sprinkle it on there? That's your crispy, savoury topping. The kids love it. Yeah, they it gets do. All that, you know, and the adults. The adults, adults I love absolutely. it too. Absolutely. And I just keep a jar of that and sprinkle it on things. You can put it on salads and anything. Yum. And again, you get that crunch, but it's gluten free. QR Delicious. code on the screen. Yep. Uh, you can follow all those recipes. Uh, you are alleged just before we go. <laughs> okay, you ready you for this? Don't. Who am I? <laughs> what is the accent? Suchin <laughs> Tundukar. I'm going to say 1D Trump. Suchin <laughs> Tundukar. We will leave Carl and his uh, amazing Donald Suchin. Trump impersonation there. Thank you, Jane. Tundukar. Okay, right after this, <laughs> stay with us on 9. We have a breaking news on the scene.